Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. If you're trying to subscribe or welcome cakes and if it's your first time tuning in, you're most definitely welcome on this channel we'll focus on fashion skincare and lifestyle. And today I have a skincare video. So before we go anyway guys, there's a whole lot of noise currently. I'll insert a clip where I this is the second take that I take of this video because it was just too loud. So please excuse me if you hear any sounds. Just bear with me, listen to what I'm saying. It is a skincare video. I'm going to give you the tips and tricks and advice that has worked for me in regards to my equitable dry skin. We're transitioning to the coldest season here in Southern Africa. So we need to hydrate, we need to moisturize our skin. So let me just give you a few hints here and there. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below if you've enjoyed this video. And let's just get into it. So the first product that I am going to share is a hydrating serum, guys. All throughout the year, I use a hydrating serum. I have acne dry skin, so I need to make sure that my skin is properly hydrated because it's dry. And number two, sometimes when my skin breaks out, it's just because it's dehydrated or it's very dry. So I've, I've learned that I'm incorporating a whole lot of hyaluronic acids into my skincare routine especially a serum because it's not too thick it's not too thin and it easily penetrates into my skin i always use it on damp skin i make sure that if my skin is probably dried up from the shower or bath i then just put on a hydrating um or a hydrating toner and then when it's damp i just apply the hyaluronic acid fortunately enough it's currently in south africa i'm not sure about the, i'm sure the rest of africa is way advanced more than us uh, ingredients will have hyaluron that will help you a lot or hyaluronate in your skincare products it helps me a lot when my skin is transitioning it helps me a lot when i am moving to another town or city because sometimes it's just the environment that makes my skin dehydrated and i just have to hydrate the reason why i use a serum i'm able to use it all through the year and either day or night is so fine but too much of hyaluronic acid can also make your skin break out so i make sure that i don't abuse it when i use it during the night and you don't use it during the day and vice versa so serum it's, it's perfect man serum helps with so much anti-aging um benefits as well like vitamin a and also just making sure that your skin looks healthy pumps pump plump and also make sure that your skin looks juicy because you see that glass looking skin it's because there's a lot of steps that are taken into place a routine and also making sure that your skin is properly hydrated and i am gunning for that i am gunning for that trust me and number two is something that i always use oh okay the product that i have used and i love is a hydrating mist and it also helps me it's either i use rose water or vitamin a hydrating mist but i turn to go to the vitamin e i mean to say vitamin e because it's more rich in and it also moisturizes my skin i don't have to reapply once i apply it once i'm good to go i'm able to handle it maybe after four or five hours i will just reapply i'm also able to apply it before i put on my makeup and also after applying my fixing spray sometimes it's too dry and i just want that radiant looking healthy looking makeup look effortless i would just put on my um hydrating mist there's a lot in the market but i go for the vitamin e as i said because of the anti-aging time time guys so make sure that if you're over the age of 21 you incorporate a lot of anti-aging ingredients into your skincare so the one that i love is by the body shop with the vitamin e i've shared it so many times i've done makeup with it like i'm obsessed i will try other brand hydrating mists um just to see this guy's starting again this is the devil now hydrating mist the body shop one i'll just put the picture here i love it so much if you have dry skin if you have dehydrated skin this will be the girl that will sort you out also the other thing that i do is use a rose water i mix my rose water with my fixing spray half half 
and then I spray it on my face. It fixes my makeup but still makes sure that my skin is properly hydrated. Rose water helps a lot with hydrating your skin because it has a bit of glycerin inside. Glycerin is an amazing humectant making sure that your skin is properly hydrated at all times. Sunscreen number three, sunscreen. I started my relationship with sunscreen quite late but I realized that the winter sun it's worse than the summer sun it's hiding but it's there so sunscreen I use the anti-aging sunscreen that is rich in anti-aging properties helps a lot with my with my wrinkles and also my dehydration you usually anti-aging anti-aging sunscreen do actually moisturize and hydrate and your skin does feel very nice and and rich but still um hydrated because some sunscreen you do feel dry dehydrated and it's not you do, it's, it's such a terrible feeling so i like using the sunscreen whenever i go to and jog in the morning when i wake up i literally just put my face with water and then i fall up with the sunscreen and give me that anti-aging sunscreen and my favorite anti-aging sunscreens are found here in south africa urisin is one of them and the other one that i love is an anti-aging sunscreen by every sun but not the anti-aging one what's the, the normal blue one i love that normal blue one the blue one the anti-aging that blue one not the other one that one is it's proper on my skin and i number four i love using a matte foundation during autumn because um i wear polynex like imagine now i'm wearing this color if i use a radiant sunscreen I, 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 I radiant foundation sometimes it's too easy to transfer into onto my clothes and i don't like how it looks but a mattifying is foundation is not easily it does not easily transfer so i like using the maybelline um, foundation with clay or you or either the Estee Lauder foundation double wear because it does not easily transfer it does not make my skin um feel cakey and ashy because i start with a hydration serum and then i also use a mist so that helps with my skin looking proper but still my makeup doesn't easily transfer onto clothes and the fifth product that i love using is a moisturizer i love using a moisturizer i hardly go for the day cream anymore since i realized that the difference is usually day cream it has spf then the other one does not have spf so i use the night cream even during the day even during winter it's perfect because my skin does not crack and become like ashy do you get what i'm saying so moisturizing cream always moisturizes my i mean a night cream always moisturizes my skin and helps my skin um recover from the day's activity even if i'm wearing during the day my skin will not feel dry even though i'm exposed to the sun the winter sun i know it's the worst sun ever so that's why you should make sure that you always apply your sunscreen and you also make sure that you apply a moisturizer that will be able that will be able to properly moisturize your skin and also hydrate your skin and the other thing number seven is i love using a gentle cleanser during the winter times i still use my african soap during the winter times but i gravitate towards the gentle cleansers in most cases there's a dupe that i've shared in my dupe video from last year please check it out that video i shared um and a cream by nature's I think it's nature's nourishment by d -Skim. it's 30 bucks it's a dupe it's an exact dupe by set of food it's amazing it's milk on my skin i sometimes remove my makeup with it it's 30 bucks and it's a huge huge bottle so i don't get the pain when i actually remove my makeup with it it's milky it's gentle it feels like a crush cream on my face but it does not clog my pores and at days, at other days, I just use the black soap and I follow up with that gentle cleanser. Milky cleanser, gentle cleansers, they usually have a hydrator or moisturizer inside just to help my skin recuperate and also not become too dry. Because I need to incorporate a lot of anti-aging routine into my skincare routine as I'm getting older and not getting younger. 
and the other final product so this is product number seven lucky number seven is a vitamin e oil and a rose hip oil these are my absolute favorite because i have severe dry skin vitamin e is rich in antioxidants and it will make your skin become properly moisturized and it will also lock all the base products that you applied a rosehip oil helps a lot with scarring of your face and also helps with um with aging like in terms of you know rose rose water helps with hydration as well so that so does the the oil helps with hydration but it also helps with clogging of the product sometimes i use it before i apply my makeup and it does not look like an oily disgusting base so i think that's why i love it a lot i've introduced it to my niece and she also loves it because she has dry skin especially during winter as skin reacts to the environment so rose hip is just amazing if you want that oil that will properly and it would be easy for it to penetrate into your skin because it's not too thick nor too thin but the thing with it it does have a bit of fragrance most rose hip does have a fragrance of roses you see you see, the way it roses smell that's exactly how it rose 100 percent cold pressed rose hip oil smells like but it helps a lot with scarring it helps with aging and it also leaves your skin looking very hydrated and loved and moisturized so if you enjoyed this video please comment down below and tell me that you have and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for those who have not watched my channel they'll be able to watch it that that would be a great thing to always have new subscri subscribers thank you very much to all those who have subscribed please don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that when i upload a new video you will be notified and let's just love each other and take care love your skin moisturize hydrate your skin there is a difference so